Not going to do it. Maggie Berry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to speak to the taxation bill, which is part of a budget which I absolutely believe is the correct and right budget for these times. It is our second zero budget, and it is an effort to lift our economic performance, increase the amount of jobs, and grow this economy. Something that we understand very well on this side of the House, and something that doesn't seem to be appreciated at all by our opponents. Uh, the job growth, of course, will be occurring in a place like Christchurch. We have 17,000 alone that are needed quite soon. That is an excellent thing. Also, what is excellent about this is that Peter Dunn, as the Revenues Minister, has meticulously, as is his want, gone through all the obsolete old legislation, looked at our tax carefully, and starts to cull and prune and get rid of a whole lot of rubbish. Now, we have heard a whole lot of rubbish uh, from our opponents, who seem to be preoccupied with pickpocketing, uh, with the strange things. I seem to think that the, um, the man who burst into song from New Zealand First was actually uh, admitting to petty larceny in his early days. Uh, yeah, well, indeed, that too. But, um, you know, they all seem to sing, sing their way through life. But it, it is an unedifying spectacle uh, to, to see it taken so lightly. Much has been made of uh, paper delivery. Uh, I myself was a paper delivery person. Uh, Mark Mitchell, my colleague, many others, David Clark, amongst them. Who amongst us ever filed a tax claim? Nobody, because it's not what kids do. So what we're doing, what we're doing is looking carefully at getting rid of the nonsense. We can't get rid of all the nonsense, Order. but what we can do is get rid of the obsolete and outrageous and silly things so that our tax system becomes modernised and it ensures that tax deductions and tax credits for that matter are being targeted to the areas where they are needed and intended. So that is something that we are approaching with rigour. Unlike the opposition, we acknowledge that times have changed and the wider government policies with those have changed. So when we look at things like uh, paper delivery boys, we look at the fact that the children certainly won't be able to claim that refund of tax uh, that has already been correctly deducted and paid by an employer. So it's not needed. These tax credit changes will be also helping make inland revenue much more efficient. And I think a lot of people are filing tax returns simply to get these outdated tax credits. And it's not needed and it's not necessary. And unlike the opposition, we want to get rid of a lot of this chaff and nonsense and concentrate on getting the economy back on track where it belongs. Now, the student loan scheme is something that's been talked about quite a bit. By repealing the voluntary repayment bonus, we will be saving about $12 million a year. We have indicated, it is well known, we have one of the most generous student loan support systems in the world. And we are committed to interest-free student loans, but we are determined to reduce that write-off. Since we came into government, we've reduced it from 49 cents in each dollar down to 45 cents. And we do intend to get it down over time to 40 cents in the dollar. And this budget, 2012 budget, the right budget for the times, will help in that goal. Uh, we're going to require graduates and ex-students to pay off their student loans a little earlier. We're doing them a favour. Get the monkey off your back early before you get into mortgages and kids and all the rest of it. We are encouraging them to do the right thing. And that's what this government does all the time. And that's what previous governments have failed to do absolutely woefully. So I commend Peter Dunn for his meticulous work. I think a lot of the obsolete elements, the uh, closing of the loopholes regarding livestock, uh, even farmers admit that they've been getting away with that one for a long time. So unlike the opposition, we do understand that we need moderate growth in this economy and that we do need to reform the tax system. And this is an important part of it, Mr Speaker. Thank you. The 11th call is a split call. Megan Woods.